Well, here's another electric drill. This is a um, medium sized one, and you can tell how powerful they are from reading on the side there, or say how many watts the motor is. Now, this drill has um, two speeds to change gear. Push this button down, we have a one and two. And what one and two indicate is the one is like the first gear in your car. Uh, it makes it go a lot slower, but it makes it a lot more powerful. And then the second gear is not quite as powerful, but it'll make it go a lot faster. Now for cutting um, steel and copper, you tend to go slower, uh, but if you're cutting wood or aluminium, you'll use a uh, far higher speed. And also dependent on the size of your bit. If you're using a big hole saw, you probably want to go on the slower speed, and it's not so much work on the drill itself. Now today we're just using a 12mm spade bit, Put that on the chuck. Now this drill here has got the chuck key taped onto the cord, which is a really good idea. That way it can't get lost. Just do it up to it's firm. And we put the uh, plug that into the power source. And because it's a bigger drill bit and uh, it's more likely to spray shavings everywhere, it's good to just have your, your glasses on. Now in this case. Um, I don't want to drill into whatever's underneath it. In this case, it's a bench, but it might be a floor of a house or something like that. So um, I've got a little bit of rubbish underneath it. Turn it on, and again, I'll start it away from the timber. Yeah, and you'll see it makes quite a, quite a large mess. Uh, if the drill bits are sharp, they don't take uh, too much pressure to actually push them down. Um, if you do need it sharpened up, you'll just see on these edges here, you never touch those two sides here, it's just on that edge and that edge. You can just use a small file just to push down it. It's not too hard to do, just follow what's already there.